everyone, welcome to a new video where I couldn't be more excited to talk about what we have in front of me right now. This is the new just announced Sony a6400 camera. Now if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I do a lot of vlogging and a lot of vlog style content. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do a lot of vlogging and a lot of vlog style content. So in the past, I've used a lot of different cameras. I've used the Sony RX100 Mark V. I have also used the Sony a6500 and currently I'm filming this video on the Sony a7R 3 So I have a lot of different cameras and I've gone through a lot of different cameras trying to find the perfect vlogging camera. This is good because it's compact, it's practical, it has a flip up screen, but it doesn't have an external mic. Now the 6500 was good because I could change lenses, I could have an external mic, still no flip up. So it kind of left me in the dark with what was happening. I couldn't really see, I kind of had to guess. Guess what everyone, when they announced this camera and when they told me about it, the first thing I said was, is there a flip up screen? Guess what ladies and gentlemen, there's a flip up screen. So let's talk about what makes this camera extremely special. This is a 180 degree tiltable 3.0 type 921K dot LCD monitor. It flips up. Now I've had hands on the 6400 for a week or so and I've also been really sick for the past week or so. The timing really wasn't great. But I will say that I am extremely impressed and I really can't wait to tell you guys about some of the features and show you some of the cool things that I shot. So this setup right here, the body itself starts at around $900, which really is not bad at all. This lens is the kit lens. It's 18 to 135. This right here will run you around 1300. There's also the 16 to 55, which will run you around $1,000. So I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I shot. I kind of did like a little bit of vlog style but also trying to show you guys some of the features. So here's what we got from the new Sony A6400. So we're testing out the new vlog setup here. Justine and I are on top of a deserted parking garage here in downtown Los Angeles. We are getting ready to go to a Penguins Kings hockey game and we figured we'd come up here and see a pretty incredible sunset and test out some new features of the Sony A6400. How's it going over there Macklemore? I said she looked like Macklemore. <laughs> so right now I have the kit lens, which is the 18 to 135, and I have the stereo microphone over here. I have the flip up screen, which for me is very crucial for vlogging, so that's why I'm very excited about this camera. But right now I'm gonna test out the new function on the interval shooting for the time lapse. played around a lot with the interval shooting function and I saved them as JPEG and RAW. Now since this is a pre-production model and I had hands-on before any of this stuff was even announced, I wasn't able to import the RAW images. These time lapses happened just through JPEG. So for this right here, I believe I imported around 700 and some JPEG images. I imported them into Final Cut, I made it one compound clip and then I sped it up. And I was actually blown away by the quality. And that was just JPEG, like I said. So I'm so curious to see. Once those raw images are supported, I can't even imagine the type of contrast and the color and the detail that's going to come out. So Justine and I both have two different vlogging setups here. I have a mount that goes straight across where I have my camera mounted and then I have the microphone mounted and then I have a separate tripod. You kind of have a side grip which mounts the camera and then also mounts the microphone. I like this mount because you can have a microphone here and then it could also have a light there. I like Multi that a lot. Multi-purpose. But I like, like this that. one because it's like it's straight across. I can hold it. But you know what else we can do? What? We can also put the microphone on top of the camera, but then we can't see as much screen. It's true. We have options, people. We do have options. We have options. Do you guys remember when I turned my time lapse off just before there were fireworks in the distance? I do. Here's some smoke from the fireworks. <laughs> it's not the same. That zoom low. All right, we are downtown now. We're heading into the Staples Center. I'm so excited. This is my first Penguins game in at least two years. My first Penguins game seeing them in LA in over four years. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go Pens. I have now simplified my setup because I don't wanna make it too obvious that I have a camera taking it into the Staples Center. So it's not the most practical, but guess what guys? It's also what I'm used to and I can still see more with the flip of the screen and the microphone than I could before, so it'll work. It'll work. 
You're doing it too! I am. Ooh, let's go. I'm so excited. Had so much fun at the Pens game. Love hockey. Do not love driving home from downtown though. Not cool. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. So we are now in Malibu at Point Doom. It's kind of an overcast day, which sometimes is the best for filming, but we're just gonna hang out, get some shots, go on a very mini little hike, and uh, hang out. All of the plans that we had today kind of aren't working out in our favor. It's really not a nice day. I also am like 99% sure that I have strep throat. So I've been really sick for a week and this morning, I'll spare the details, but a lot of things were happening and I'm like, I should probably go to the doctor. So maybe we'll go to the doctor. But yeah, our plans in Malibu, it's just not really a nice day and it's very cold. So we're gonna try to go somewhere else. See what happens. So right now, what you guys are hearing, this is the built-in in-camera audio. I took off the external microphone and I'm very curious to see how it handles the situation, especially at the beach. I feel like the beach is a tough place because it's windy, there's a lot of sounds, but I am curious to see uh, to see how the 6400 handles it. Hopefully pretty well. I don't know, I'll find out in post-production. I lost my sister. She's back there. Let's zoom in and get her. It's tracking you. Oh yeah. Something else that I was extremely impressed with is that this actually has the world's fastest autofocus. It also has advanced real-time eye autofocus. It also has high-performance real-time tracking that maintains autofocus on subjects when detected. So that's actually something that I played around with that I was very impressed with. We are now gonna test out this fast autofocus and tracking. Shall I move? Yes, fast. Me. Okay, be fast, woman. Turn around. Oh, got you. Oh, got you! Yep. 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 Wow. I have two cameras mounted on one tripod. It's a little heavy. Is it tracking me? Can you see me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. No, I look cool. You're being silly. Shall we take some pictures? Yes. We're now gonna test out some pictures and also the tracking. It also has eye detection. Justine, would you like to be my model? Oh, yes, I'm beautiful. Cool. It's chilly out. It is a little chilly. So you can go into the face eye autofocus and you can select. Right now I have that on. You can also change it to be the right left eye select. I have it on auto. Oh, you sleepy. <laughs> I didn't think you were still filming. <laughs> oh, you sleep. Who do you think I was talking to? I thought you were in the menu and that you could see me. Oh, I see you. 
Would you like to take some of me? Yes. <laughs> got caught. <laughs> I got caught. that I had no idea existed is the auto power off temperature feature. So for the 6500 in the past, it would stop recording at 29 minutes. It would get too hot, the little temperature thing would come up and then it would shut off. So the fact that this camera actually allows for over 29 minute 4K recording. Oh, thank you. Thank you! I made sure both the batteries were 100%. I used the same high-speed Sony SD card for both just to make sure that nothing was different and it was all the same. And here's what happened. The 6400 did in fact continue filming past 29 minutes in 4K. Something that also was announced is the Imaging Edge. Now I don't have access to that yet since it hasn't been released yet, but if you guys have used Play Memories in the past, basically this is going to be an upgraded Play Memories. I definitely am always using the Wi-Fi feature, sending pictures to my phone, sending images, sending video. So once the Smart Imaging app is actually released, you're gonna be able to send high quality 4K videos from your camera to your phone. So not only can you do videos, but you can also do pictures as well. I'm constantly sending pictures from my camera to my phone. Normally I'll edit in Lightroom, but with the new Imaging Edge app, I can actually edit directly in that. There are so many features about this camera. I was literally reading a 15 page document of everything being explained and I was just completely overwhelmed that I'm like, wow, this is a lot of information and a lot of it I actually do not understand. I am not a camera expert by any means. I'm trying, I'm trying to learn, but there's way too much to know about this camera. I also was extremely impressed with the built-in audio. Usually I always have an external mic, but I was really impressed with the built-in audio, so that was actually really impressive. So this is the 16 to 55 lens. It definitely gives me a little bit more room, which I really like. I think the quality of the other lens might be a little bit better, but this really makes it a compact compact little camera. Super compact. Oh man. And look, I can still zoom. That's too close. Oh, hmm. Wow. So guys, that's going to do it for this video and my review of the 6400. Like I said, I only had it for a few days to mess around with. Some of my friends made some videos about this camera as well, so I will put their links in the description, so make sure you check out theirs. Thank you so much to Sony for letting me have the camera early and for testing it out. If you guys want more information, there'll be a link in the description. And yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think that this is the perfect camera? Are you interested? Are you going to buy it? Let me know. Maybe I'll make more vlogs this year. <laughs> I didn't make many last year. That's my bad. Thank you.